of like uh, this world's version of Jesus Christ. All right, man. So I guess some of y'all are have upped in level, huh? Yes. And I believe and, everyone but myself. Yeah. No. Think, well, Fox. Uh, Fox catches him level up. He needs one hit. He needs one experience point. Uh. Yeah. Well, I was trying to like save time, and I I was gonna do like a little random encounter, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Fox encounters a lizard. <laughs> no, not that cheesy. <laughs> Fox catches a, a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, basically you heard uh, some stuff going on in the middle of the night. But uh, they apparently they couldn't get in. So, Well, we know that... Directly outside the door, we've got a hallway. So it's either they're out there waiting for us, or they've set traps for us. One or the other. Yes. Yep. And uh, Kyvan is going to share that one or two of them got away before I returned last night. And so most of the complex probably knows we're coming. Uh, yeah, that's probably not good. <laughs> no. I'm betting they're waiting for us. Hmm. Whatever shall we do? Well, we can't stay in here forever. Nope. We got stuff to do and can't stay in here. <gasps> The question is, do we open the door and let them come to us, or do we open the door and do we go out to them? I mean, my initial thought was let them come to us, because we know that we're enclosed in this room, so we can't really be flanked or anything. And then again... Depends mostly upon if there's anyone outside the door when we open it. Exactly. Maybe have someone listen at the door to see if they can hear anything directly on the other side. I vote we send Pen in first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's yeah. That's one thing I was gonna let you know. Like I've been kind of laying low with him because if if he does engage in a combat or something, then I'll have to split the XP with him. So if you want to split XP with him, that's fine. I can. I mean, he'll react, but. I've just been kind well, of letting them lay low. You know? I mean, since math isn't here tonight, yeah. wouldn't it be a wash then? Yeah. Yeah, can, math yeah, math cool. has been swallowed by the pocket dimension. So, if we utilize pen, it'll we won't feel it as much. He right, says, "All right. Well, what do you what What would you like for me to do?" I guess first things first. I would, I would try to start moving the bed. Um, yeah, he says, "Whiskers, with any, come here." With anyone who would help. All right, so I'm gonna help. And I guess sort of yeah, guess drag it, these, pull all these drag it off out. towards Whoosh. the side here. Whoosh. <clears throat> right ho I don't know where that blood came from I don't remember anybody dying okay thank god that's oh, what good. we were, trying to we, we were discussing that <laughs> the only thing we could think of is that we killed somebody outside and the blood got moved or something uh, it probably did got uh, yeah I, I myself was thinking I, I don't remember killing anyone in here <laughs> I think it's a little 
fair, it's going to go back in the torch. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure about anyone else. I cannot see uh, anything past the doorway. Oh, that's yeah. because dynamic lighting. Yeah. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. Does this light on? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. You hear a, a little squishing here. And you hear, look, they're awake. Go get them. <laughs> uh, it it, which... Okay, so it's coming from that direction. So, oh, we got some company. And I guess we're rolling this now. So. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, okay. Round one. Fight. <clears throat> All right. Ben was like, please. Uh, let's see if he can do something. Alright, he just kind of has his sword out here, and then he like puts his hand out and goes, and some kind of invisible force goes to the to the guy, and they're gonna have to make contesting checks. I love how Pen appears to actually be a Jedi. He <laughs> was influenced, yes, by the, by the concept. Um, all right. I haven't done this before, so I'm not going to see how to. Uh, so. since, since he's from before the establishment of the Kodeshi Empire in this, in this region, uh, might you say he's a Knight of the Old Republic? <laughs> hmm. oh. I like the way that sounds. No. <laughs> uh, eh, I changed it a little bit. Where the hell is it? At some point, I need this. I'm not used to like playing people anymore, like characters anymore. I'm like so used to playing monsters. Uh. At some point, I need to see if I can find a very, very, very old article from the Dragon magazine. Oh, man. So <clears> I <throat> got a 19. So I it was a uh, D and D uh, spells one half. So they were half level spells. Oh, didn't Basically, work. Anyone could the dude just like, he goes, mm. he's like, damn, I'm, uh, I'm out of practice, guys. Sorry. <laughs> and nothing happens. So it goes there. The, the component, the verbal component for monster summoning one half is here, monster, monster, monster. <laughs> um, Big B's uh, offensive hands. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. I love half level spells. Um, Stinking cloud, one half material component, uh, beans. <laughs> All right, the paladin is up. All right, <clears throat> I am going to just move. And I'm encumbered, so I believe I can only go this far. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just going to wait it out right here by pen. Okay. All right, Kyvin. Okay. Well, this fellow up here has done me the favor of making himself a nice big target by holding the light. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just going to throw a fistful of fire at him. Definitely hits. And... That looks like it should warm him up a little. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess the blood isn't working anymore. Oh. <laughs> He's dead. I'll just put X on him that way. I'm not confused. <clears throat> okay. Uh, he's up. He's like, hmm. He's gonna back up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of, uh, Speaking of Dragon Magazine, I had a DM once who would allow any feat or ability so long as you could find um, published reference material for it or um, that wasn't <laughs> from a third party. And so, like, I uh, I remember I brought up, like, feats from Dragon 319, and nice. he's like, damn it. <laughs> Eventually, he had to stop letting me do that. <laughs> Yeah, some of this stuff that got published in the Dragon, a little on the OP side. <laughs> yes, a little. <laughs> I believe at one point I had, uh, in in our Pathfinder game, I had an archer who was doing around 100 per hit. <laughs> Jeez. On average. Wow. I, I'm like, you said I could do it, man. <laughs> okay. Um, just then, someone steps out from the shadows and tries to make a lunge, uh, but at Pin, but Pin manages to see the person. Oh, ho, ho. and the assassin rolls a natural one. No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> And just like murders himself, slings that shit. <laughs> Boop. Like, what are you doing, boy? <laughs> and that's that one. Umbrella is up. Okay. Um. Okay, where is Pen? Uh, right around the uh, kind of near the first set of rooms. Okay, so they're up there. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> okay. Five, fifteen. I am going to holler at Fox, and I'm basically going to point guard to watch down this hallway. Okay. And I. Can't I can go a little bit farther, but I don't feel like uh, lobbing my axes this time. So at this point, I will just be uh, standing by. Yeah. All right. So he tucks around the corner. Round two. Ben's going to turn around and engage this effort.
that is at a hit. Oh, are you kidding me? He misses. <laughs> Almost got him, but missed. <laughs> well, that sucks. Ben ain't doing so good. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm rusty, guys. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move up next to Penn to try to take this guy out. That move, move. <clears throat> um... I'm going to use my great sword. Uh, that is a miss. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so maybe it's a not so great sword. I was just gonna say. <laughs> it's an okay sword. It's an okay. But I, yeah, but I didn't a, have advantage. It's an okay sword. <laughs> And that's it for me. Yeah. Uh, this guy doesn't really see either of y'all as much of a threat yet. So I'll leave. <laughs> yeah. Although, Pin does look like he's less armored. So he'll attack Pin. Uh, nope, doesn't hit. So, yeah, you're blocking him in, he can't really through y'all. So, that's the goal. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, homeboy. <laughs> You hear uh, the click. And a bolt flying. Oh, shit. Uh, that's a hit on pin. Uh, does. God damn. Is that a damage roll? Yeah. Ow. Oh, sneak attack. Not, not good stuff. And it was an, an assassinate attempt, so. Can't assassinate only be used against players who haven't yet gone this combat? Oh, you know what? I think you're right. Yep. So good. It's not an assassinate attempt. But it is a sneak attack, so. Oh, 30. And he had poison, so. <laughs> oh, he gets a saving throw, though. Sweet. So what you're telling us is Penn is dead. <laughs> yeah. My, maybe. <laughs> Where's my con? con? Is, it... is this con? I guess. That would certainly not bode well Yay. for you. He succeeds. So con, so half is da half damage. So that's ten plus. What I roll? How come it's not showing me what I rolled? I'm uh, seeing 20 oh, plus 10. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the second was the poison, so that's what, 15? So 14, so 7 for the poison. 
So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 22. All right. He's like, ah! Didn't like that shit. <laughs> Like, oh, now I'm starting to get remember how this works. <laughs> All right, Kyvin. Okay. Man. I hate not having my sheet. I, mean, I have to, like, sit here and calculate what I had calculated before. Uh. Uh. Um, the other two slid off like this, this yeah. way, right? We saw them move. Okay, well, I've learned from my last time. Uh, so I'm going to try and take care of him first so that I can get some help chasing the other ones. Not a very strong hint. Who was that on? Uh, the assassin. The guy you're, you're facing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is a hit. Okay. I would actually I hate how this doesn't calculate right. Oh yeah, I guess that would be right, okay. Oh, it's not his turn. Got it. Alright, Brilla. Alright. Uh, um, okay, well, I don't see any targets immediately. Um, considering Friendlies basically have the corridor blocked. There's not a lot I can do. So it looks like I will kind of hang back here with Foxcatcher right now until either something major happens up there or somebody tries to come sneaking around back behind us. Um, one thing I would like to do, let me make sure. Um, where is it? Um, I actually want to uh, pull out and light a torch so and put it here in the hallway so that I can actually see down the in, hallway. Uh, in this hallway? Yeah. I'm basically going to put the torch down like here, and that should give me light at least a little ways down the hall. Right there? Yep. Then I will move. Actually, I'll just kind of nudge Fox over, and then I'll go here. That way I can go either way, down either hallway as necessary. All right. Smoke fills the air. I was watching this dude on YouTube, and he was talking about how I didn't realize, really realize, but back in the Middle Ages, they didn't use really torches in, indoors like you see in the movies. Because it would have filled the whole area with like smoke and shit, but it all depended like, on it all depended on the ventilation. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I thought that was interesting. I never really yeah. thought about that. 
Yeah, yeah in in here, I uh, I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> uh, musty, and the walls are wood, and the only ventilation we found so far was that uh, methane. <laughs> that that chimney uh, above the fire, not the fireplace, the oven. Unfortunately, I don't have a choice if I want to see and have to have something. Yeah. Now, if I can find a cleric at some point that can cast a continual flame spell on something for me, then I'll be all right. Say so my uh, my cleric in my game cast continual flame on their on their mace, mm -hmm. and then when they leveled up, they they forgot the spell. <laughs> <laughs> They they swapped it out for something else. I'm like, that's that's cheating. Well, that's all fine and dandy until they run into their first dispel magic, and all of a sudden the spell goes, boop. <laughs> uh, oops. I mean, that's that's true. I mean, it looks like they have a flaming mace. Mm-hmm. Good for intimidation. Yeah. That reminds me of. Uh... Reminds me of WoW with the enchantments back in the day when people would be excited. But uh, the, the halfling life cleric isn't all that intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. In fact, she she's currently contemplating abandoning her her quite murderous party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. To to make things clearer. She walked into a room after the rest of the party, uh -huh. where there had been um, it was a it was a two storied room, and there had been sixteen enemies waiting. Right. She walked into a room, and immediately on either side of the door, there is a corpse pouring blood. There, are <laughs> there are three vaguely human shaped scorch marks along the for or along the far wall. Gets there in time to see the fighter, ah. Uh, uh, behead one man, uh, <laughs> and the monk leap off the top floor, kick somebody in the head with their or with their knee, knocking their head down and plunging a sword down into where or their spinal column where their head had uh, had been guarding. Nice. And immediately decided to cross themselves with the ward of evil and back out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, <clears throat> Finn says, I'll just make this idiot. He points his finger. Magic mytho. Uh. Alright, well that's... <laughs> I'm, I'm still kind of peeved at the whole Twitter war on the, the magic missile. Yeah. Like, I guess uh, I mean, if it's supposed to be one fucking damage die for all three missiles, then each one does, I guess, five damage now since I rolled it one damage. So, yeah. See, that just that really uh, just uh, like just... when is it? When what edition has ever done it that way? I don't remember any edition. No, I think no. they're backtracking because they realize they fucked up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. I'm. I, it's kind of every, every edition. Each missile was a separate die because you never knew if you were going to throw them all at one target, if you were going to spatter them all against separate targets. So every missile was a separate roll. That's what I always thought. Yeah. So. I don't think someone's thinking things through mm -hmm. very well through. Making sure I typed that in right. I was like, that's hard to believe. We got two fours in a row. Nice. All right. Third one. Okay. All right. All right. Doof, doof, doof. Or no, they, it says they all hit simultaneously. That's what Crawford was saying. Well, it says they, they hit simultaneously. Therefore, it's kind of like a fireball. And this, but it's not like a fucking fireball. No. Cause it's oh, everybody it's in, idea, in the, but... yeah, I'm like, dude, you're backtracking here. Like, you're, you're, hmm, you piss me off, man. Anyway, so that's 13. The guy's like, I oh, mean, oh, like, oh. kind of push back a little bit. He's like, oh, hurt. And he's like, kind of like struggling i i agree with and and disagree with at the same time their their rulings on um on uh empowered evocation and uh elemental affinity and such 
because like yeah. the the ones that have multiple attack rolls, I understand that the spell itself gets a damage bonus. But you as a caster can you actively decide where that damage bonus go? Like I I realize they say you decide which which one gets it. It it just doesn't seem to make That's sense. That's what I'm saying like I remember in a tweet that Mike Merles made after the player's hammock was just released. There was like a big battle about this on the forums. And I, I think the one consensus was it's a damage bonus per spell, no matter if it, the, the the thing has multiple rolls. But then like, like, cause my, Mike Merles had tweeted that, well, for, for instance, on magic missile, that if you just targeted one person, it would, you would get the damage bonus. But if you targeted three different people, the bonus would apply to each person. But then Crawford comes around, who's the official, like, rules lawyer now, saying, no. Well, no, he's saying that it gets added to each one no matter what. But, like, Scorching Ray on a Sorcerer's thing, you would only add it to one roll. See, like, Crawford so, uh, and Merles and, uh, who else is the, they all seem to have differing opinions on this. Yeah. But Crawford is the official... Like, he's the only one that can make official rules now. Like, because he's, like, the rules uh, manager or whatever. Like, Merle's, Merle's is, like, the, he- the senior, I guess, executive. But I was going to say, I thought Crawford, Merle's was the creative director, wasn't he? He's, like, over all of it, but I think Crawford is, like, the, the rules guy. So, like, you, usually I'm pretty happy with what they have to, what Crawford has to say. And I usually like the things he says more than Merle's because Merle's just guesses at shit. He's like, oh, I don't know, but if I was a DM, this is how I would do it. Which is kind of how it should go anyway, but but I yeah, like that's... seeing what Crawford has to say, but this is like the one thing that kind of irks me because it seems inconsistent. And then like with Agonizing Blast, but I guess Warlock's different because they don't get as many spells and it's only to that one cantrip. It's like they can't choose which spell to get the bonus to. <laughs> yeah, but still, if yeah, you're like, there's only the one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, I mean, on on top plus, of that, that is the yeah. most powerful cantrip in this game. Yeah, I've noticed that. Which one? They seem to be the the uh, definite the DPS class. kind of casters in this edition. I don't know. It seems like yeah. yeah. War- Warlocks are focused on um. They don't have a lot of spells to choose from. They don't learn a lot of spells in the first place. But yeah, um, and they only get they only can cast one sixth, one seventh, and or one one eighth or one ninth, right? Yep. But they can get those back. Uh, like they they can get their regular spell slots and their and their because um, the slots only go up to fifth, and then it's they get Mystic Arcanum for six seventh. Eight. Yeah, they can get their regular spell slots and their Arcanum back like once a day. Um, and they, yeah, and they get their slots back on a short rest too. Which I, I hadn't, like, I, I'd glazed over that they regain their regular spell slots on a short, I don't know how many times I read the Warlock class thing, and I, I kept glazing over it time and time again, and then I was like, oh, well now it's, now it's even more, more ideal. <laughs> Alright, oh, sorry about that, it's kind of, kind of went off on a tangent there, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh. Iliana is next. All right. I'm going to put this guy out of his misery. Do it! Do it! <laughs> nope. Ah. Uh, I mean, it, it like, brushes off his, his armor. Like, shh. Lancing low. Yeah, Lancing low. <sighs> He's gonna throw down a puff of smoke <laughs> and Shinobi out of here. I figured uh, he was gonna uh, bite the cyanide pill. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I guess he would try to maybe tumble through. No. Uh, he's gonna try to tumble through Liliana, so roll the acrobatics check. Alright. Uh, 
Damn. Wow. You ain't going nowhere, son. <laughs> Close lined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tries to be all cool. <laughs> You're like, nope, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh shit. He tumbles towards you and you promptly kick him in the nuts. I guess he just tries to grab one of his uh, bolts from, a, from his pack and then just uses it to try to stab Liliana. <laughs> a natural one. Holy crap. This dude this guy that sucks. is not doing good. He's, He's like, oh, shit. Tumbling, he was still off balance. He grabs and promptly sticks himself in the leg with it. And dies. Exactly. <laughs> um, he skipped murder day at assassin school. <laughs> yeah. Try to stab at Kyman. Oh Switch. shit! There's another one. <laughs> and... What? what more? Bolts. Okay. Uh, that is a hit on you. Um, roll a constitution saving throw. Yay, poison. Uh, save. Oh, wow, that's my second highest save. Ha <laughs> uh, 13. Not quite enough. Says, unless it's an easy save, I failed that one. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, he rolled high. Holy fuck. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think he was going to roll two nines. Holy fuck. Yeah, 24. Oh, hell. still alive? <laughs> Holy shit. Welcome to the wonderful world of poison. I've, yeah. I've got less HP <laughs> than a level one character. <laughs> All right, fortunately, that's his turn. All right, you're up now. Uh, yeah, that, that hurt. Uh, hit. Oh, and two misses. Oh, Wait, God. is that a ranged attack? Um... Does your, um... Yes, it is. Does your feet allow you to ignore the disadvantage at, on point blank range? Uh no, that is that is a perk of the warcaster feat. Right. Uh, and I I don't have that one. So I was planning on taking it eventually, but I I do not have it yet. That's a fumble, a miss, and a fumble. Oh dear lord. So you guys just hear kind of and scream in agony. Uh and then yell wild wildly uh wildly shooting fire and pain. Straight past this guy. Let's 
guy comes up and engages Paladin. I'm gonna have to nerf this guy. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. I can't believe his challenge rating is only that. And really? Good lord. Don't trust the CRs in the Munch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, a, a gladiator is a CR5, but my level 4 paladin completely destroyed one on his own, so. Yeah. So that's a hit on the Alan. Damn. And then like a basilisk, I think, is a CR two. Uh oof. Fourteen damage. Okay. All right, I guess he's going to attack again. Great. And misses. And that's all he does. All right. Brella? It's going to um, stay there. <clears throat> um, 5, 10, 15, 20. So far, no one seems to be coming up this way. Yeah. Keyword there so far. <laughs> so the, the problem is, I've got two people blocking the hallway, so I can't get to anybody. And I can't move far enough to get to pass through them unless I want to take dash, which can like put me all the way like down the hall. But <laughs> then I still don't get to take any action, so. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, I think that would put me... Yeah, I mean, you could probably move here and throw something at that's, this guy. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, I can throw from here, but I'm at disadvantage. But if I move, like, 10 feet closer, then I'm within short range, so... Uh, yeah, I'll just step to here. And then I'm going to throw one of my hand axes at that guy right there. Okay. Uh, it, con it connects. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just pretend that was your mama and that was her shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if any of these fellows had a decent mother, they wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that is a big miss. So it is round four. All right, then I guess he's just gonna try to finish this guy off. Or I don't know. What do you think? Should he try to finish this guy off, or turn around and attack the other guy? I would say try to finish the guy off, but that's okay. That's how I roll. We'll do. He will swing at him. Support. 
Swing, swing his sword. Ooh. Oh, is that enough? I think that's enough. Yay, he hits. Better be. And cuts him in half. Ooh. No, it cuts his arm off first, because, you know, everybody gets their arm cut off, or hand cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and then he cuts him. Cauterized him. I mean, the only the only appendage that uh, I might see I might see Pen cutting off would be both legs, <laughs> and then leaving said person stranded. Um, there you go, and some furry guy in a cantina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that's all you can do. I don't know if he has any uh, bonus actions. I saw a meme that it was like Anakin Skywalker. I haven't heard that name since I cut his legs off and left him to die in a volcano. <laughs> um, I could do that for sure. Uh, he might have to do this. Is that bonus action? See if this works. He's down on hit points, right? He got hit. Oh. Nope. Eh. Yeah, fuck it. Ah, it didn't work. Man, how do you get these things to work? Do you just type in the formula or what? Uh, I haven't gotten the second wind to work. Yeah. What the fuck? I've 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 tried so many times. Uh like so many different things. I wonder if that's a roll twenty bug. Like it there's <clears throat> under uh macros, I think there's a thing for uh, class actions and second wind is one of the um one of the things described in there. However, I couldn't get that formula to work either. Um, so I've just got a class actions section for a lot of enemies or characters, and if I use one of them, yeah, that's what I um, have. It. It's under class I just, action. I just tick it off. I thought you could totally put rolls in there. Oh well. No biggie. Alright, Il Iliana. Alright, first I'm going to cure my wounds. I don't need to die. Yeah, the guy that just came up to you has a, a shield and sword. Okay. And looks like he's wearing some kind of studded leather. This guy? Uh, this guy. Oh, I see. It was dark. Okay. <clears throat> this right, guy looks like he's wearing just some basic crappy armor. Looks like he's wearing like a t-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> t-shirt right. plus one armor. T-shirt, man. <laughs> t-shirt plus one. <laughs> An ugly Christmas sweater, <laughs> plus one armor, and foes yeah. have to do a charisma save to avoid being turned away. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that sucked. Damn. Um, it's real low. But Lower. hey, and then I'm gonna go for this deadly guy. Okay. The assassin. I think they're both deadly. <laughs> True. The one with less HP.
And that's probably a miss. Uh, yes, as a miss. <clears throat> Just barely again. I was going to say, I can't roll higher than a 14. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's it for me. Disengage. All right. So this guy is going to disengage through his friends. But right before he does so, Ben is like, nah, nah, nah. Fucking. <laughs> Swings at him. I don't think so. Oh. <clears throat> and the Sentinel? Yeah, he might have. He might be. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whackity whack. And hits him. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't an advantage. Is it a yeah, really. It's not it. Right. Oh, but his speed becomes zero. Yeah. Bitch. He ain't going anywhere. He's like, fuck you. Oh, nice. And he's like barely hanging on to his life. He's like, oh. And I guess oh, okay. That's all I can do. Uh, Kyvan is going to disengage and uh, run back here and try to recollect himself. Okay. Sorry that. <clears throat> okay. He's going to attack the Paladin again. Oh shit. That's a hit. <sighs> oh, eleven points of damage. Right? Down to two. All right, Pin might have to break out some. <laughs> you got a little something, something. <clears throat> uh, oh shit! He gets one more attack. Oh, and uh, that is a miss. Ooh. All right, Brella. Okay. Brella is going to <clears throat> throw her other hand axe at this guy. Then she is going to rage, draw her long sword from her back, and move forward. So. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you you're th throwing it at the assassin? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's totally toast. Is there some special rule on cleaving with a thrown weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Does it just go straight through and into the guy next to behind? <laughs> uh, well, if if he was at full full damage, yeah, it would happen. It would work. Okay, so she rages and draws her longsword as she's running up. And she can get to here. Technically, she could get into that space and hope that she doesn't trip over the body. <laughs> Actually, by that space, since he just dropped. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Sure. Okay. 
All right. This guy is scared of this little halfling. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? With good reason. <laughs> uh, it's going to disengage out of there. Come back and fight me, you wussy. <laughs> <laughs> away from a small child <laughs> with a big sword <laughs> we, we just like lobbed axes at this guy <laughs> and sunk one into his head <laughs> all right <clears throat> I was trying to get all his spells done, but sorry, especially with my mom, she's visiting. So I didn't have too much time if I wanted to. Plus with the move and shit, trying to find things. It's taking like three days to find out from these people if we got this house or not. And because it because they're not like digitized, I'm like I'm so used to people like Every company being digitized. Like, what do you mean it's taking three fucking days? Like, right. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Man, that sucks. My my rage damage doesn't go up until like ninth level. You get an extra attack next level, though, don't you? Or do yep. barbarians get it at sixth? Nope, gets it at fifth. Okay, I know there's one class that gets it at sixth level. I can't remember what it is, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know I get mine at fifth too. Yeah, mo most of them get theirs at fifth. Oh, one one gets theirs at sixth. Well, give me half a second. I'll tell you. It might be the Valor Bard. <clears throat> Um, so he'll go, so that's five, ten. That is correct. College of Valor, extra attack at six. Eh, he's not going to do that. Shit. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a character, or a character, a player who took the lore bard and basically retrofitted them to be a summoner. <laughs> Nice. And this and this so is here, her and her first time her, ever playing the D &D. halfling's head. Do what? He's gonna stand there so he can shoot over your head. Oh. <laughs> Wow, fumble. Great, Pin. Dude, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so really that's one. Two. One hits. Three. And the other one misses. He hits. So eight fire damage. So that was five ten. 15, 20, 25. Okay. I got to. Mark off the spell. Uh, it's, uh all right. Back up. I've got him. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely disengaging. 
Um, I'm going to uh, first um, cast Bless onto a pen umbrella. Okay. Is that a bonus action? No. So yeah, I couldn't do it because I have to. I'm moving back in my next. Yeah, if you disengage without getting hit, you wouldn't be able to cast bless. But or you could cast bless and then get a uh, attack of opportunity on you. I'm just gonna move back. Yeah, just. To... Uh, I'm. I'm not so sure. I would risk the op attack. Yeah. No, I would yeah, just. No. All right. And that's a turn. Uh, these guys are dead. Hey, Kyvan. Um. See, th this is where I wish I was a fighter and I could spend hit die in battle. <laughs> yeah, the old second wind. Yeah. Or I was a cleric and I had spells to heal myself. Uh, <laughs> instead, I'm just going to do that. At uh, Well, he's the only one left. So I guess, yeah, this fellow here. Yeah. Oh, no, there is someone else left back there. But I was going to say him anyway. So. Yeah, that's a hit. Saw how quick Pin was when the other guy tried to do so he's gonna sit here and engage on Pin. Oh. Damn. Yeah, he hits Pin. Here we'll just swing again. Uh, second one's a miss. Seven points. <coughs> Brella. Get this <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Rats, and she doesn't have an inspiration to burn either. <laughs> Bummer. The hey. come in and she doesn't. She doesn't use her two-handed her long sword very often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's better with her axes. <laughs> okay, that is miss. Kind of throws the spear up, and you hear it hit something hard, and Ben's chest. Ding. Round six, six. Round six, fight. There are cats in this dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Fluffy. Dad, you're not paying attention to me. The shielded guy, hopefully. I mean, as far as cats are concerned, that's a crime. That does hit. Well, the damage sucks. Dang. <laughs> right. It's his turn. Liliana. Now, if you want to do bless you. Yes, that is what I'm doing. 
and it's up to three creatures, so it'll be everyone but me. What is that for 10 minutes? Um, one. One minute. Ten rounds. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's it for me. Okay, let's go for a big hit. Oh, that is, that is not a hit. Let's try that. And 12 probably isn't a hit either. <laughs> um, you said, no. no, if it's studded letter, it's definitely not a hit. Ooh. All right, these two are locked in combat. Oh, son of a bitch. It's pin again. And does he hit a second time? Oh! Uh, How? Yeah, he just critted. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Depends on your definition of fun. Oh. Jesus. That is not fun at all. No. <laughs> Ben's like, oh. Yeah, this guy is like super tough, and I've nerfed him. Like, holy crap! Kind of glad y'all did have pin fight. <laughs> yeah. All right, fella. And thus ends the party. I just want to know what kind of sword is he swinging that's doing two d six damage. <laughs> uh, great sword. Yeah. Not with a shield. Is he? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, um, it's, uh... Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Because if it's if it's this guy, he should be yeah, using he one says, or uh, doing a D8. That's what it says. Uh, if the, if used with two hands, then it's two D8 plus four. Uh, and okay. That's what it says in the NPC thing. So, uh, okay. so he, he's yeah, like I using. Uh, I got no idea what using then. A side hand them. <laughs> uh, he he might have something similar to um in previous yeah, editions. Yeah, I wonder maybe, if that's maybe. a freaking typo then. Maybe. Uh hmm. in previous editions though, the the powerful build feature let you wield a two-handed weapon in one hand. Um, in this yeah. edition, they got rid of that, though, but yeah. the, for monsters, they might have oh, uh, oh, he introduced has the, something uh, similar. The brute property. Uh, oh, his melee, weapons do an extra D. Yeah, an extra die of damage on it. Yeah. Yeah. Bug, wow. bug bears have that property. Yeah, and I guess if I was actually doing this right, it would be it would be 2d8, because it's a longsword. But... Yeah, I I decided to give a bugbear a great axe once. <laughs> Almost then feel like I want to give you the full XP for this guy because he's like, this is re crazy, ridiculous. And I've and nerfed him and I made him a lower level. Like, and and you take two d twelve damage. <laughs> uh, okay, did brother go? Nope, my turn now. Okay. Damn. 
think even if you rolled the d4, it wouldn't matter. No, not with that shield. Would have been good damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's sitting there looking, it's like, where's my axes, damn it? <laughs> This guy's the minion guy's like getting cocky. He's like, Yeah, fuck you. God damn. Swings and. Oh, shit. I don't know how much more pins we're gonna be able to absorb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't have that. Oh, I guess he doesn't. Yeah. I didn't. <clears throat> All right, round seven. Really wishing I had the gem I needed for chromatic orb. <laughs> want to take a chance in case I miss. But I do have the bless now. The pin has bless on him? Yes. Let's see, I could try to hit him again. Or I could TK cast magic missile. Try to hit. Put one on this guy. Or now I probably need to put all of them on this on the big guy. Is it going to run into the same problem with Magic Missile being a ranged spell? Um, magic Missile always it hits, always, though. It automatically hits, so it's not a ranged attack. Mm, that's true. That is true. I mean, it, it is a ranged spell, but it doesn't require an attack roll, so it doesn't matter. Right. So it takes 10. Ben's gonna have to. I did look look this up, so I should be able to do this. Right. <laughs> this is the only loophole I found, but casting a spell twice in one round. That's not a cantrip. Oh, nice. action surge? Yeah. He's going to do it again. Um, I am fairly certain, though, that action surge does not list cast a spell under the options you can take. Well, it's an extra action. So that's what Crawford said, so... Oh, okay. I was going to say that the PHB had a set list of actions underneath the action surge that you could take. All right. He's almost done. All right, Ileana. All right. Um, I have one more spell left. Hmm. 
Nope, what he's got listed there, that's all it says now for, uh, for action surge. It's not separated by what you can do. It just says that you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. That's all it says. Huh. <clears throat> all right. Um, I'm just going to cure wounds on myself. So does that mean the fighters who use the attack action now can take all of their all of their attacks? Because I, I know before, if you used your action surge to do an attack, um, I think attack it, action... like, you like if they had extra attack. Yeah. Um, I think th an extra attack. Does it say if you take the attack action, you can make an extra attack, or does it say with a bonus action you can take the extra attack? No, um, if you have the extra attack feature, whenever you take the attack action, um, then, you just make all those attacks. Yeah, I guess you would. Action, action surge used to specify um, if you take the or if you use this action to take the attack action, you make one weapon attack. Uh, and it was regardless of how many, how many attacks your your character had for your attack action. Yeah, so I guess if you I'm, had extra attack, you could like attack twice, action surge, and then attack twice again. Right. <laughs> yeah, I've I've got a couple of fighters in my game. Good. You are up now. Okay. Finish him off. Oh, I think that's enough. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is. I was Yay. gonna say. In, in in case it wasn't, it, it still was. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't have a sliver of health left, does he? No, no I zoomed no, all the way in. He's done. Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so, he's dead. Umbrella. One guy left, and he's scared now. He should be. No, boss is dead. <coughs> oh, yes. Oh, you. He, he's now. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Toast. Chris Critter. Or whatever. <laughs> sliced, sliced filet mignon, whatever. <laughs> Yay, we made it. Oof, Barely. Huh? That was rough. <laughs> yeah, that was, man. That was rougher than I thought it was going to be, to be like, honest. <laughs> Brilla came through relatively unscathed. The rest of us. Well, she sat out a couple rounds, too. Yeah. <laughs> She's holding up the plank. So, all, man, all, that was almost All of my rounds. damage came from one attack. Or eight rounds. <laughs> yes, Brilla took no damage, but she did score two kills. True. Oof. Man. I'm not used to like actually playing a character, so I was like, yeah, that's mentally exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh Shit. needless to say, Brella will drop out of rage and wipe off the longsword, resheath it, and then look around to pick up her hand axes. Oh. Both stuck in this guy <laughs> right about. I'm going to search the body of that guy. <laughs> Why do I get this strange feeling we're going to have to go uh, border ourselves back up in the kitchen? I'm just going to say we're going to have to go. All right. It was somewhere where I already looked to go figure. <laughs> Damn gremlins. Uh, you know, if at first you don't succeed, do the exact same thing again. Right. Um, You just didn't roll a high enough perception check the first time. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I totally, I mean, I didn't prepare before, so I'm like, so. Yeah, I've had sessions like that. That's... Yeah, it's all right. <clears throat> Defecation occurs, dude. Yes, I agree. I have definitely had sessions where I have apologized multiple times. Like I, I, I did no prep work today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I always love using the the phrase "defecation occurs with alarming regularity." That's the PC yes. way of saying shit happens all the time. <laughs> You don't really, if you search all the bodies, you, um, you find, um, you actually find a potion on the, uh, on the fighter, but, uh, I mean, the equipment is nice, but it's, it doesn't look like anything extraordinary. If you look on one of the, on one of the assassins, though, um, it looks like one of them has like, well, they're illegal, illegal to have in the Kadeshi Empire, but it looks like they look might be kind of elven made. What looks elven made? Uh, one one of their boots. Uh huh. <clears throat> um. Who all would pick up on the uh, the fact that they look elven made? Um, I mean, hmm. I'm trying to think if your character would know that. Uh, Pin would know. We'll just say Pin looked at him and said that. Oh. Alrighty. But most stuff is isn't like adorned with like oak leaves and shit. Whatever. <laughs> well, they probably need a good cleaning before anyone should put them on. Who knows yeah. what kind of foot fungus these people have? <laughs> yeah. 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 I kind of assumed since I had so much time that everybody was cleaning their armor when they were they were resting. This is pretty filthy. Yeah. All right, let me get your experience. Okay, and um, <laughs> Rella is going to grab the bodies after we've, you know, taken stuff off them, and she's going to drag them all into this room and close the door. Just stuff them in the closet. Pretty much. <laughs> it already smells bad down here, so it'll take them some time to notice. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So I did nerf these guys a little bit, but they're still, I mean, for your level, they're pretty decent experience, so. So divided by four. So three forty two XP each. Yay. Fox will be able to bump up. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be as big and bad as he's ever going to get. 996 points away from my next level. Nice. 
Yeah, after we um after we get the bodies moved into that little side room though. Uh I would definitely recommend holding or holding up somewhere to uh to catch our breath and get people patched up. Refocus. Yep. I do like a short rest. Yeah. Seems eerily quiet now. <laughs> Although, if you do look down the hallway, you notice, Rella, you might see it. Um, the bodies that were there are not there anymore. Okay. So somebody did remove some of the bodies from our previous fight. And this guy dropped a lantern. Or... I'm going to go ahead and grab it and we'll take it into the kitchen with us. Yeah, might as well just snag that right up. Yep. Free light source. Uh, Pin says he does have he did and just in case bring along like I have these lying around i have these four healing potions if <laughs> anybody wants one uh, okay brella's also going to grab her torch off the floor and she's going to go ahead and snuff it out okay. and uh, once it cools off she'll put it back in her pack because they don't usually use like a turn worth of burn so it means it's still usable for later on a healing person is 2d4 plus 2, right? Correct. Yeah. And in the meantime, <laughs> close the door. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, 23. Um, where'd our button go? Yeah, we seem to have lost D. She go poof. Uh -oh. Roll. Um, I just happened to look and go. Uh, wait a minute, we're missing somebody. And she didn't say goodbye, so she must have DC'd. Storm still going on in your guys' area? Uh, there wasn't everyone here, but yeah. Uh... Nothing here. There was one up her way and one down Math's way. I'm in the middle of both of them. I'm in North Carolina, I think. D's in Massachusetts. Math is in Florida, if I remember right. Am I the only one who's not on the East Coast? Um, I'm in California. Okay, so you're on the West Coast. Yeah. It's still early there. Him, uh, I'm in the middle. It's, it's, like, it's, it's only like eight fifteen here. Yeah, it's it's ten fourteen here. All right. Eleven fifteen. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So spin hit dice if you got them. Uh, I could spin more, but I'm gonna hold on to them. <laughs> pin surges are back. Even though it's a. We're just taking a short rest, just in case. Still want to close the door and and move the bed back over in front of it, just yeah. so we don't yeah. get interrupted while we're trying to patch people up. I really should. At some point, I really should take the healer feet. <laughs> just that way, my healing kit I can actually like heal real damage with. Oh, when I uh, when I make my dastardly deal with the devil, uh, I plan to get that uh, 
fiendish vigor invocation first <laughs> false life at will <laughs> nice nice yeah because right now basically the only thing that grella has for healing is her hit dice that's it Well, not healing, but uh, or temporary temporary extra health. Yeah, temporary hit points help soak up some of the damage. Yeah, as as a sorcerer and also as a warlock, uh, there there is nothing you can do to actually heal yourself. Um, granted. Uh, what is it? Um, Dark One's blessing. When, whenever, or whenever a fiendish warlock drops a creature to zero hit points, they gain temporary HP equal to their warlock level plus their charisma modifier. Right. And then, uh, at once you gain access to third level warlock spells. Uh, vampiric touch uh, is yes, amazing. Touch. But for, touch but is for, extra, it actually does heal you. Yeah. So yep. that's the closest thing you've got. But yeah, for just straight up healing yourself. Yeah. Not a. That's why I like playing clerics. <laughs> I mean, as as much as I would like that for Brella to have like one level of fighter, just for for second wind and um, the uh, two weapons fighting style, it's like it's just not worth it because if she were if she ever plays long enough I, I really want that level 20 you know plus four bump to strengthen con oh yeah yeah my uh my paladin uh just recently hit sixth level and uh so my next two levels i'm actually going to take in fighter mm -hmm. uh to get the action surge right. and the extra fighting style and the second wind Right. Um, the extra fighting style, I'm, I'm going to be taking uh, defense, and that'll actually bump my AC mm -hmm. uh, to let's see my, my AC right now. 18. That'll bump my AC to 21. Nice. Uh, and I and I'm not in plate mail yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anybody that did not? Use one of his healing potions. Um, I did not. I didn't need any healing. Um, and uh, he Cal asked if he just want to take it and hold on to it. Now that I can do. Okay. All right, it's a half a pound. Okay. And uh, so that's one two. He used one, so he has. Kyvin used one, so it gives one, so he has one left. And uh, Kyvin would actively, actively encourage the the paladin to take what help she can get. Yeah. Right. Even even though she's not here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll I'll just leave a note. Let's see. And I, a, something I realized, Jason, even though it didn't really come into effect, um, that um, we didn't use uh, Brella's pack leader ability. Oh, no, we didn't. There's only, there's literally, I, I went and looked at the, the history, only one swing would have been involved and that was the one swing from from uh 
from our companion with the Blade of Radiance, and he hit anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I forgot about that, too. Damn. Because um, the only person it would have helped would have been our paladin, but basically she immediately, as soon as I got up there, she bailed, which she needed to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just say two two HP is yeah is the 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 perfect time to leave. <laughs> yeah, because even if she had like, well, if she had critted, she might have like put the guy down, but uh, otherwise she wasn't going to do enough damage to put him down. And all he you know as easy as he was hitting her, all he'd have to do is take one swing and she'd be unconscious. Yep. Yeah, I think the Sunblade is the the go to magic item for holy fighters. Because <laughs> my my paladin has one too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot to roll this, but uh, each well total they all had. Twenty-eight gold, three sacks. So split into four, each of us would be getting seven gold pieces. Yep. Uh, inventory, that's where that goes. Yep. Ben actually has money now. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's wait. No. no. <laughs> uh, man, well, between the, the coins and the potion, bro oh, is now. Yeah, let seven. me take these healing potions off. So he only has <laughs> one left. So, okay. Brella is at 74.3 pounds, and she becomes encumbered at 75. <laughs> oh, goodness. So she's got 0. 0.7 pounds to work with. I, 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 I become encumbered at 40 pounds, but I am carrying 16.36 pounds worth of gear. So. Well, I've, got, I've, got, I've got a bit of room to work with. Well, what gets me is how much I'm carrying, and I'm not even, I have no armor, and I'm still carrying that much weight. <laughs> That's what really gets me. Is all of that weight and 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 none of it is armor. I told you a million times, just drop the folding boat. <laughs> I don't have a folding boat. Get rid of the ten foot pole. <laughs> Actually, she does have a, a four pound quarter staff. Yeah, yeah, she never uses it, does she? No, she basically she uses it kind of as a walking stick, and that's really about all she ever does with it. As soon as she goes into any type of fight, she just drops it. And then picks it back up when they're, she's done. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, Imagine, it's like Johnny's too was saying, like, if you just track how much is in your backpack, you just throw your backpack down once you're in, in, in battle. Right. And then they can carry up to 30 pounds. So it's 30 pounds right there. Honestly. Brella should probably just, I think she's just going to drop the quarterstaff because, I mean, she really doesn't use it other than a walking stick, and that's it. She's proficient in its use, but she really doesn't have a need for it. Yeah, and once Kaivan found the the alternate focus that weighed, like, one pound, he yeah. dropped his four-pound staff. It's like, this, this thing weighs too fucking much. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna mark off the the staff and I'm just gonna leave it behind. I figure if I really really need one later on, I can always pick up another one somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> so I am going to leave it in place, and that now gives me just just shy of five pounds to play with. God, I'm I'm really wondering like. Who the Kodeshi really are, though? Like, what the hell is their problem with elves? Uh, 
you don't know. Yeah, I, I know. It's <laughs> like it, it, it intrigues me, and it's 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 one of my one of my main interests in this campaign. <laughs> you, know, you might find out one day. Oh, Kyvan will definitely find out eventually. He's he, he's he's pissed off at being scorned for just being half elf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess uh, I think we got everything covered. So, okay. I guess I will log off for now and see you next week. Yep. See you guys next week. Alrighty. Sounds good. Cool. Yeah. Get you later.